I'm with Ron. I never was. A, I really never was. A fan. I'm not a, not saying he's a bad quarterback. I wasn't a fan of, of them drafting him because I don't think if he was from Pitt, I think if he was from North Carolina, I don't think we would have drafted him. So I mean, at this point, I got, I need to see something. I'm not. I'm, I'm rooting for him, of course, but I need to see something that says, oh, okay, that's going to be our guy. I know we keep talking about oh, he's a rookie, but. There's rookies that you see flashes and you're like, oh, okay, I can, I can, I can work with that. And I haven't seen it, quite frankly. I haven't seen, I haven't seen some wobblers. I haven't seen some guys that are open. And I think it's easy to give Matt Canada the, the scapegoat and just say, well, he's not drawing it up. I don't think, I do think he went extra conservative the third quarter, and I think that led them to losing the game last last night. Uh, you can't go three and out and keep running the same thing, but. I think if you if you're going to have a top five pick and, and you're telling me there's some good quarterbacks out there and you're in an AFC North where you got to compete with Watson, Lamar, and uh, Burrow, I mean I think you got to make the move. Well, let's ask that question. It depends to me how Pickett plays the rest of the year. He's got to be pretty bad for me not to give him a second year uh, in the system. And well, we may have a new system next year. Um, you know, they picked him number one to be their guy. I, I don't think you bail on that plan after one year unless he's just god-awful, and I don't think he's going to be god-awful. And I think they're going to win some games and, and maybe not be able to get the top one or two quarterbacks. Uh, you know, I don't know who all is coming out. I mean, obviously Stroud from Ohio State will go high. You know, you may not get the guy you want if you win a few more games. I, I just don't – I can't see him drafting a quarterback. Ball. I would almost rule that out completely. I just think uh, unless he's just god-awful the rest of the way, which I don't think. I think Kenny Pickett will show improvement. I think they know, they should know, that a better design game plan and playbook plus better offensive linemen and some other people around him, and they're going to have a position to do that with free agency and high picks here – they can change the dynamic of how this offense looks next year, but they're going to have to make those changes. But I don't think they're going to redraft the quarterback position. I do It'd be not. way more interesting if they got the one or two pick and there was a generational talent on the board. That would be Is anybody talking about a generational talent, though? Is anyone yeah, talking? But was was anyone talking about Patrick Mahomes being a generational talent uh, back when he was in the yeah, draft that year? I, I, they I said he'd it. be I a mean, good quarterback. I think Trevor Lawrence was considered high. Right. high. Burrow obviously went number one overall, but so did Baker Mayfield. You never know. But I, everybody knew Baker was not a. He's nobody considered him a generational. Right, that's talent. what I mean. So, no, no, there isn't. You gotta, I don't think Bryce I, Young or C.J. Stroud is considered that. I would consider trading that pick if I got multiple picks. What do you mean, a, though, Ron? I didn't get that. No, I, I mean. I don't know that you, there's a guy out there that after you draft Pickett, you say, well, this guy's a generational talent. I'm taking him instead. I don't know that that guy's coming out this year. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And this would only be what interesting. I was saying too. Yeah. I mean, how about the guy in North Carolina next year, though? He that, looks awfully good. But, yeah, that that's the only way this would get interesting for me, and, and it won't because there's not that guy at the top of the draft. I don't think there is anyway. Now, yeah, I haven't read if, that. if the kid from North Carolina came out next year and the Steelers stink again next year, and for all we know, they might, um, that would be interesting. Although, man, wouldn't you love to see their grades on these quarterbacks? Do you think they have Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud rated higher than they did Pickett? I don't know. I don't know that either. And if you found out they did, would they be derelict to duty for passing on them if one or both is available to them? How much higher do you have them rated? Um, and again, you know, maybe but they also probably have a lot of offensive linemen. This is going to be a good O-line No, I know, but I'm, and... I'm just curious about that particular question. Cause really to me in the end, there's one position in football. Really? Right. And that's the most important position. And if they, you know, they always say, take the best athlete available. If that best athlete is a generational quarterback, potentially, what do you do? But I, again, I would trade the pick down, get more picks. If I can get five picks in the top two rounds at a, uh, as a result instead of three, and they're pretty high, I'd do that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Although I look at a, a mock draft now, it has the Steelers drafting 10th and taking. Well, I think uh, they're eighth, aren't they? Well, this one had them 10th, so this was oh. probably last week. Uh, Antonio Johnson, a cornerback from Texas A&M, who goes two picks after Joey Porter I think, Jr. I think they'll take Joey Porter Jr. if they have the position to do it. Do they do things out of familiarity too often, Bob? Maybe, maybe they do. I don't like that. I, I, you know, I think I take Porter line. if I think he's the best guy. I don't take Porter because his name is Joey Porter Jr. No, but I also think they I don't need, like that. You I draft wouldn't prioritize. The best player, not the best player you know. True. Is that why they drafted Pickett? 
I'd like to think no, but nobody else picked him nobody in, else, in the first yeah, round when they had a needed quarterback. So I, I mean, I like to think they in think five years he's the guy. We're either going to know if the Steelers did a good job with that or didn't, and if all these teams had quarterback needs and nobody took any quarterback. I don't think it's going to take five years, Bob. Well, I'm just saying I at that point. Know, I think we might know next year. Hmm. I don't know. I still think that's too soon. I, I still think quarterbacks need some time. Yeah. I think we'll have a much better idea, though, don't you? What, Tua, how many games into his career did he start to bust out? And now Justin Fields is starting to play well, although he's he, a spectacular he's runner. terrible yeah. throws. But in his, he's not a great passer. Oh. He's not a great passer. Did I hear somebody say he he's the lock of the week betting his rushing yards every game. Yeah. He's an amazing well, athlete, but can he play quarterback? I don't know. Well, it's a good place to start because Ray Fittipaldo's report card starts with this exact thing, the quarterback. Let's get to what Raymond says. Our grades are already in. Ray's grade for Kenny Pickett was a D. Ron, C-, minus. Bob, C-. minus. Foles, he gave him a C. I gave him a D-. minus. So... Let's extend it to this. Right now, are you encouraged that Kenny Pickett's going to be a good NFL quarterback? We have a little sample size. It's not nothing. He's now played in several games. What's your gut feel on this guy? You like the pick? You think he's going to be good? Good. I'll say good, yes. What makes you say that? Because I think he has, a, first of all, competitive fire. He doesn't let a lot of things bother him too much. He's not afraid to go back to what he's doing if he thinks it's right. I think when he gets time and protection, he's pretty accurate, although we haven't seen that recently. We see it in spurts. Again, I look at this whole year as a learning experience for him, something that will springboard him into next year a lot earlier than if he had not played at all. You know, I'll say I think he can be good, although I'm not encouraged, uh, overly encouraged so far. But, I mean, Neil O'Donnell was a good quarterback. Cordell Stewart was a good quarterback. Yeah. They're not going to win you championships. Uh, I don't see I, – I, I'm not going to sit here and predict greatness for him based on what I've seen. The highest I can go is potentially good. Bolsey? Encouraged is too strong a word. Discouraged, I think, is too strong a word. It's somewhere in the middle. It's skeptical. It's, it's still like just watching him game to game and seeing what he's really about. So I don't have strong feelings one way or the other right now. I'm mildly encouraged when I see him – in small spurts, and I thought yesterday was his most encouraging half of his career. Yeah, it was best he rating like too. One hundred eleven. Yeah, was it his best yeah. half? Yeah, he was confident. He was making plays on the run, and if he had just had an okay second half, I'd be coming to act out of that game saying this was a Feeling huge really good. step forward. Yeah, right, right. Instead, he was horrendous in the second half, throwing balls in the dirt. I mean, his arm strength is a question. Right? Can we all agree yeah, on that? Yeah, he ain't I, exactly throwing, you know, frozen ropes out there. Yeah, but what plays do you point to where you say, "Oh man, he didn't have the arm to make that play." I, I mean, could I, find I, some. I know from that yesterday. he threw in the dirt, but yeah. there weren't like long throws that he threw. Even short. a couple of completions. There was one to to Pickens in the first half. I don't know yeah, about barely, twenty-four yards. Twenty-two yards. It barely got there. Oh man, I thought that thing it did, could have been. It hung. It, it hung. It's it still hung. flying. I mean, it, it's that's worrisome. But, man, did he look good in the first half. Almost borderline cocky like he was at Pitt in a good way, the way that great athletes are that way. And then he – I can't believe what happened. What happened to him in the second half? Everything he did was wrong. I don't know. And, you know, is it coaching? Do you put a lot of – did the Bengals make great adjustments defensively and the Steelers didn't counterpunch? I don't know. His throws were not good in the second half. Though. He made two horrific throws in the dirt. One to no, Sims and, and, and one to Deontay. But again, I, I still think play calling has something to do. That, that flea flicker call took the air out of the entire, you know, they just get a big play. Najee's, you know, running the ball. Instead, they got to go into that bag. Well, here's my problem with that call. And I wonder if you had a problem with it too, Ron. Got to give the ball to Gunner. Well, that, <laughs> of course, that. Gunner was on the, let the record Gunner, show. Oh, I got to check how many. Gunner, Gunner played a lot of plays yesterday. <laughs> he was on the field for the first play of the second half. Think about that. I'm not even going to get into Gunner on this because I'll go crazy. Where's Steven Sims? He's out there. He's trying to catch a ball when he's already out of bounds. Come on. He's not. He's, <laughs> wow, well, I mean, the throw led him there as well. I don't know. What was I just going to say? I forgot what I was going to say, Ron. You were going to say about something Gunner. about Gunner. About Gunner. No, before Gunner. Someone help me. I don't know. 
Oh, are you going back before Gunner? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember what we did. Before I got. I can't wait to see how many plays Gunner played. I thought Gunner should have been ruled in about for that a catch? touchdown. Yeah, yeah. it's legendary. He should have been ruled for a touchdown. I texted you immediately when he made that catch. I know, and I texted are you, Ron. Are you ready for his plays? Yes. I don't know. Am I? I this brace, I'm bracing on, myself. He was on the field for 31 offensive snaps. Wow. 42% Ugh. of the snaps. Oh, my God. Well, Boykin got hurt in this Half game. Half the game. So, you had, you know, who's the number three receiver? At this point, yeah, that's a good point. They don't really have. Clay, I think Claypool actually would have looked good in this game if, if what Pickett said about Deontay is accurate—that he was getting double teamed. Yeah, Sims played thirty-two. Then Claypool probably would have or could have helped you win this game. Actually, you know, you talk about why sometimes they're maybe shallow, different. I was looking. Plays. I was looking, and and it just stunned me again to think that Anthony McFarlane is on the practice squad, and that's it. I look back at some of these fourth and third round picks, which are still premium picks in my view. Yeah. You know, you talk about the yeah. Rams and how they draft. There's another familiarity guy, Ken, right? Kendrick Green it was a Same starting as Matt center Canada. last year. And he's Same not as even, Randy Feekner. Right. And Benny Snell comes to mind. Uh, Dan Moore's a fourth round pick. What, you know, Connor he's, Hayward. He's okay. You know, but what is he? See, that's who I, how many for Connor Hayward? Would you mind looking Three, that up, Ron? I believe. Why? Four. Uh, he I like him. I, he should be out there instead of Guy. Five, five How about per, Derek Watt? Five percent of snap. Derek Watt played uh, seven snaps. <laughs> Here's what I wanted to say. I just remembered the flea flicker. That's what uh, we were yeah, talking Brian about. Flea flicker. Normally, you know, if play doesn't like that doesn't work. Everybody's up in arms. And and if I like the play, I'll say I liked it. But this one I didn't like because it's the same as in Kansas City last year when Romo called them out for a flea flicker in the regular season game in Kansas City. Because they weren't running the ball in the second half at all. Najee was getting nothing done in the second half. They had one yard rushing in the second half. Yeah, that, at that works at that point. with play action working, and that's part of it. It, it has works to be. when your running game's right, working. Right. And, and at that point in the second half, it wasn't. So I hated the call. You, Ron? I didn't like the call either. You know, I, again, sometimes these guys try to be so smart. I'm at the pit game on Saturday. They Duke ties it up, or 28 26, and they go for two. With a, a reverse this way, back this way, it was going to end up pressure. Ugly. The pressure just overwhelmed them before they could get the ball off. I don't know. I, I'm not gimmick plays. I, I guess I subscribe to the Gene Collier theory. When they work, great call. When they don't, stupid call. I didn't but like that. that was the mistimed I like call, play. I, I just never Listen, felt I'm comfortable all for with it. If they're running of, the ball, I'm all for a play. But they like weren't. That. You're right. That's what we're saying. It, it just seemed weird at the time for when it happened. And then that followed up with a, uh, you know, Pratt. Stuffs. It was one of those motion plays. James Daniels gets beat up there, and they have a three-yard loss. Now they're Pratt, third, was a Pratt third and ball. thirteen, and then there's a sack because they just put their ears back and went Horse, after him. Like Sam that? Hubbard Horse, got it. Do you like that? Bob so all of a sudden, in scoring position, almost ball. goes to a four and twenty, <laughs> fourth and twenty-two. You know that's how ridiculous. And then the third and twenty-five. Come on, you have George Pickens out there. Just throw it up there. Throw it up there. You get a PI. Yeah, that, that a draw the way they're calling. Or, or if it's intercepted down the field, what's yeah, the difference? It doesn't matter. Right. I hate the give up plays. They had three give up plays yesterday. Come on. How many series did they have? Nine? And a third of them are give up plays right. at the end? I mean, playing scared. I appreciate they scored some points, but on this day they needed to score more. You're in a you're in a shootout with this guy.